There is a type of preaching that only thrives in a country where the government is not doing its work. So you depend on God for what the government to whom you pay taxes is supposed to do. So just imagine all your life, your understanding of Christianity is to pray for a car, pray for a house. Then you travel to a country where things are working and you can get, for instance, a car loan and pay over 20 years. If all your needs are met, what is the use of God? That's how to know if you are being taught anything meaningful. That's why you see a lot of Christians. They travel out and they lose their faith. It is because their faith to begin with was superficial. If you travel to a country and the working government makes you not see the need for God again, you never believe the right thing. I'm telling you honestly. And this is part of reasons why the truth has to be taught. You know, another reason a lot of people lose their faith is they just forced it down their throats, what they believe. No questions asked. Some of us grew up in backgrounds, if you ask questions, you, in fact, they can excommunicate you just for asking. How do we know the Bible is the word of God? Get out of this church. Because they were never taught to. But the Bible says, be ready to give an answer. The Bible won't tell you that except there are answers. Tell the person by the side, there are answers. It takes a level of investment to defend the faith. You can claim to believe it and not be interested in defending it. But I want to read to you a text from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. It says, But sanctify the Lord God in your heart and always be ready to give a defense. Be ready to give a defense to those who ask the reason of the hope that is in you. 